Hi, my name is Laura Myron and I'm here with Jimra and today we're gonna do a quick yoga sequence to perk up that booty. So let's start laying on our backs. Come on down. <clears throat> Crawl your feet back towards your butt, arms by your side, chin off your chest. So the back of your neck is really long back here. Lift your hips up off the ground, bridge pose. Really simple, basic warm up to get those glutes and hamstrings firing up. So you don't wanna be clenching your glutes, but you wanna tone the glutes. Okay, so the way to do that is press down through your heels and pretend you're trying to drag your heels towards your butt. Here we go, down and up. 10, squeeze, nine, the whole time you're pretending you're dragging your heels towards your butt, chin off your chest. Six, squeeze, five, squeeze, four, squeeze, three, squeeze, two, hold it up, chin off your chest. Excellent, lower down, hug your knees in towards your chest, gentle glutes, stretch side to side. Hug your knees in towards your chest, rock forward and back a couple times, and try not to let your feet touch the ground. So just kind of rock it forward and back, forward and back, and then hold it up, still without letting your feet touch the ground, right into boat pose. So just a little added bonus abdominal work here. Reach your arms out. Breathe in and out through your nose if that's available. Try at least breathe in through the nose. And then just set your intention as you're working your butt off here in boat pose. Set your intention, what you wanna accomplish, how you wanna feel in this yoga routine. So just remember why you're doing what you're doing. Good thing to know. Okay, place your hands on the ground, place your feet on the ground. Reverse table, so roll your shoulders back. Puff your chest up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, and then lift your hips up. Press down through your heels. And here we go, 10 times, same but different from the bridge pose. 10, squeeze, nine, up. Really dig down through your heels. And really think about what you're doing. So what's our intention here? I wanna work that booty. <laughs> so think about, focus on working your glutes. Four, squeeze all the way to the ground, all the way up. Two, squeeze, one, hold it up. Excellent, lower your butt to the ground, come on to all fours. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Let's do a couple rounds of cat-cow, just to get into our breath here. So your inhale, tip your hips up, roll your shoulders back, reach out through your chest. And with your exhale, you round your back, drop your head, press down into the ground. Do it again, big inhale through your nose. And exhale, relax your neck down. And let this really be about the breath. So inhale, fill your lungs, fill through the ribs. And exhale, push all the breath out. One more time, let it feel good. Inhale. And exhale. Now come to a neutral spine. So reach your chest between your shoulders and lift your belly button away from the ground. Lift your right arm and lift your left leg up. Now the belly is gonna wanna droop, so lift through your abdominals and keep your hips even. Try not to lift one hip higher than the other. Take your right arm out to the right and your left leg out to the left. Come through center, barely touch your hand and foot to the ground and lift back up. Here we go. Five, in, down, up. Four, in, down, squeeze your butt. Three, in, down, squeeze your booty. Two, in, down, squeeze your cheek. One, in, down, squeeze your peach emoji. And lower. <laughs> I was trying to think of more names for the butt. Here we go. Left arm, right leg, lift it on up. Now don't let the belly sink, remember. Lift your navel up away from the ground. Keep that, that's gonna make your abs and your butt work harder. Take it out to the side, hold. And back through center. Barely touch your foot and hand to the ground and lift. Here we go. Five, in, down, squeeze. Four, in, it doesn't have to be a big movement. It's concise, it's precise. So you're really feeling the action through your butt. You're not just flopping through the motions. One more. Hold it up, three, two, and downward facing dog, up and back. Bend one knee at a time, move your hips around. All right. Step your right foot forward between your hands. You can come to all fours to set that up and rise up for crescent lunge. 
Wah, don't fall. <laughs> so right away, pretend like you're dragging your front foot back to engage your glutes. Arms by your side, warrior three, lift off. Hinge from your hips and lift your back leg up and hold. So this is exactly where you were on all fours, right? One leg up, one leg down. So let's do the same thing, just without the side parts. So you're gonna lower the leg down and squeeze your butt. Down, squeeze your butt. Four, up, three, up, two, up, one, hold it up. Back down to crescent lunge, bend your knees, stretch your arms up, right back to downward facing dog. Nice work, second side, step your left foot forward. Reach your arms up by your ears. Remember, pretend you're trying to drag your foot back. Engage your left glutes. Press your right hip forward. Tone your belly here. Okay, reach your arms by your sides. Hinge at the hips. Here we go, warrior three. Lift off, lift your back right leg up. Balance. Very similar to the position we were just in in all fours. Here we go. Six, squeeze, five, squeeze, four, work the glute, three, keep your back straight, don't drop the shoulders, hold it up, bend your front knee, land back in that crescent lunge, make your legs do more work, lower your hands, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank pose, lower all the way onto the ground. This one's called Shalabhasana, so arms by your side. Now what's gonna wanna happen is your pinky toes are gonna wanna lift higher. Keep your big toes and your pinky toes even. Lift your legs, lift your chest. Now make your butt do the work. Mm-hmm. Now keep that. Bring your hands out in front of you and rest your forehead down. Now lower your legs down and up. Here we go. 10, squeeze, nine, seven, six, squeeze, five. Doesn't look hard, but it is. Three, keep your legs straight two, and hold, three, two, and rest it on down. All the way up and back, downward facing dog. Okay, let's add on. Step your right foot forward, back to crescent lunge, reach your arms up. Arms by your side, hinge from your hips, lift off, warrior three, same thing, six times. Down, squeeze, five, squeeze, four, squeeze. So you're working actually both legs, both glutes, Two, hold it up. You're going all the way back down into crescent lunge. Warrior two, open up and breathe. Now really work this right glute. Scoop your right bum underneath you. Bend your right knee and pretend you're trying to squeeze your feet together underneath you, okay? That's the work. So instead of just kind of hanging out, right, we're really working the pose to get the alignment and to get the legs working. Now adding on half moon. Place your right hand on the ground out in front of your right foot. Here we go, lift off, hop that foot forward and lift your left leg up. Now right here, I want your left leg, your left glute, your left hip doing a lot of work. Yet again, just a little bit, lower your leg halfway down and lift and squeeze. Five, squeeze, four, squeeze, three. Look down for balance. Don't even worry about looking up here. We're working that butt. Two, and hold it up. Okay, now you gotta land in warrior two. Bend your knee all the way back down. Reverse your warrior stretch, lower your hands, downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna do it on the other side. So you'll get to see the reverse view of how this looks. So step your left foot forward. You know this part, crescent lunge, slide that left hip back. Squeeze your glutes underneath you. Arms by your side, hinge at your hips, keep your back straight and lift out that right leg up. Here we go, six, squeeze, five, Squeeze and your left leg are still working to balance while you're squeezing this right glute to go up and down. Two, hold it up, one. Now use those legs, bend your knees, land in your crescent lunge, reach up, open up warrior two. So once again, we tend to kind of be sinking in our warrior two. So scoop this left bum underneath you, lift through your pelvis and pretend you're trying to squeeze your feet together underneath you and that's gonna get those glutes working and really keep you aligned here. All right, we're half moon, hand to your hip, place your left hand out on the ground in front of you. If you have a yoga block, that will definitely be helpful. Lift your right back leg up. 
Stretch long through your chest. Here we go, down and up. Six, squeeze. Five, squeeze. You can certainly bend this knee too. Three, two, hold it up. Land all the way back down into warrior two, reach. Inhale takes you into reverse warrior. Exhale, lower your hands, downward facing dog. Okay, come on to your knees. Come into dolphin. Shoulders over elbows, forearms parallel, and spread your fingers like you're making a handprint in the ground. Pull your shoulders down the back, lift your belly, come on up. Now try not to round your back, keep your back nice and long. Here we go, lift your left leg up, left foot to right ankle, and up, here we go. Six, up, five, up, four. You got this, three, two, hold it up just for fun, bend your right knee, and try a little kick up. And back down, one more time, kick up, and back down, child's pose. Ooh. How's that glute? How's that booty? I'm feeling it. All right, one more time. We got a second leg to go and then you're done with this one. All the way up into dolphin. So shoulders down the back, belly button lifts. Up. Lift the right leg up, second side. Here we go, down, squeeze, six, squeeze. Keep a nice long spine. Try not to bounce and rock through your torso. So it doesn't have to be super big and it doesn't even have to be super fast. It's really precise. Three, two, hold it up. Remember, just for fun, bend your front knee, look forward, little kick up, down. One more time, little kick up, and down, child's pose. Okay, back down onto your back. Same but different. Back to that bridge pose, here we go. Pretend you're squeezing something between your inner thighs. You can even put a block or a book there or something to remind yourself to use your inner thighs. Up and down. Squeeze and down. Here we go. Three more. Two. Hold it up, crawl your feet together, lift your right leg up, down and up. Five, squeeze, four, squeeze, three, squeeze. Hold it up, switch your legs, other leg up. Let's go down. Pretend you're dragging your foot back towards your head. Keep your abdominals lifting. Hold it up, both feet down, hips up. Bottoms of the feet together, knees out wide. Same thing, down and up. Bottoms of the feet together, knees wide. Eight, squeeze, seven, squeeze, six, five, four, three, two. You've got this one, hold it up and rest it all the way down. Hug your knees in, stretch those glutes, take it side to side. Take your right ankle and cross it over your left leg, hug your knees in, hold it here. You've only got a little bit left to go, and then we're gonna take it right into a stretch, and you guys are done. Switch your sides. So you should feel a stretch right in your hips and glutes where we've been working. Draw those knees in towards you. Okay, again, rock forward and back. Come right into that boat pose. Three, two, and hold it up. Hold, hold, hold. I know, this is one of my least favorites too. Three, two. Back to downward facing dog, up and back. Let's go one more time through our standing sequence. Here we go. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up, engage your glutes. Squeeze your cheeks underneath you, hinge. Warrior three, lift off. Five, four, three. You know this sequence now, you got this. Two, hold it up, right back down to crescent lunge. Use your leg, land, reach up. Warrior two, squeeze your feet together underneath you. Squeeze your right glute underneath you, right into half moon. Hands to the ground, lift off. Lower your leg halfway down and up. Four, up. Three, up, two, hold it up, hug your navel into your spine, use your right leg, bend your knee, land right into reverse warrior, and lower your hands, downward facing dog. 
Second side, left foot forward. Round three of our second side. Reach your arms up. Pretend you're squeezing your feet together underneath you. Hug your navel in. Hinge forward, lift off five times in warrior three. Five, squeeze, four. Hug your navel into the spine. Three, two, hold it up and you lightly land into crescent lunge. Use your legs, use the power of your glutes for control. Warrior two. Scoop that left bum underneath you. Squeeze your feet together underneath you. Hug the navel into the spine. Half moon, lift your back leg up. Broaden through your collarbones. Five, up, four, squeeze that right glute. Three, get a little lighter through your left toes. Hold it up. Bend your knee, land all the way into reverse warrior. Lower your hands, downward facing dog. One more time to land on your stomach. So come forward into plank, lower all the way down. Rest your forehead down again. Remember, keep your big toes and your pinky toes even. Super key here. Let's go for eight lifts. Here we go. Eight, seven, squeeze, five, four, three, two, hold it up. Whew. Lower down, child's pose. Sit it on back. Final burnout in the reverse table. So just round two of the same thing we did. This is it. And then we stretch it out. Roll your shoulders back, puff up your chest, lift your hips, crawl your feet all the way together. This time, right knee up, right leg up, down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four. You can certainly bend the knee. Three, two, hold it up, switch your legs, and then we are done. Let's go. Eight. Seven, six, five, we're so close. Four, three, two, hold it up, feet down, and lower your butt to the ground. You made it. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee on top. So knee stacking pose. You want your feet towards the outer hips and you're stacking one knee on top of the other. So you feel a nice good stretch through your hips, through your glutes and then you're just gonna fold it on down as much as is available. Breathe in and out through your nose, relax your face, relax your jaw, and tell your, talk to your butt. <laughs> Make friends with your butt. No, but really like, get into those hips and let them know, okay, it's okay to stretch. You're gonna feel a stretch in there, and the hips really like to fight back, but you just gotta tell them it's okay. Come on, up. Biggest showgirl switch. Ready. Switch. <laughs> you can practice that on the weekend too. <laughs> Stack your knees, feet on your outer hips, and just ease on down. So really key is moving slowly, your body gets the signal, okay, I'm okay, I'm safe, right? I'm safe. It's not like you're cranking yourself in these positions. So by moving slowly, your body doesn't have to tense up and freak out. You got just a few more breaths here. Remember, talk to your hips. Have that conversation, talk to them hips. First of all, tell them that they're beautiful and amazing and strong and great. And then tell them that it's okay. Stretch and relax and open. They, they fight back a little bit. They can be cranky. Come on up. Bottoms of the feet together, knees out wide. Stretch here. Now if you have a few minutes, you're gonna stay. An extra two, three minutes is great to lay on your back and do Shavasana, okay? Just lay there, relax, close your eyes. You can even set a little timer on your phone. That's what I usually do. But if not, I totally understand. I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day and thanks for practicing with me. Namaste.